Hello, Bless Family. Welcome back to my channel. I do have my seatbelt on because I am a safe gal. Today, I decided that I wanted to film a video of me setting up my new bookshelf. Originally, I had a lot of videos I, that I wanted to film this weekend, but we just got hit with Hurricane Ian, and so it's kind of messed up my schedule in terms of what I wanted to film. But I decided that I want to reorganize my bookshelf because I have ordered a lot of new books and I don't want to have like way too many bookshelves, especially not right now because my bookshelves are inside of my room. But I do definitely need another bookshelf, especially because I store more than just books on my bookshelf. I also store my jewelry and some of my like filming equipment on my bookshelf. So I'm going to go to Ikea and get the Billy bookshelves, like a really basic girl. I'm not an Ikea fan because I think Ikea stuff is terrible quality. <laughs> I actually only have one thing from Ikea and it's the Hobbit mirror because that mirror is super nice. But everyone raves about these bookshelves. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll give them a try. Like I said, I'm not a big Ikea fan. I wouldn't really go there for real furniture. But if these bookshelves are nice, then, you know, I'll give them a go. My current bookshelves are from Target and they're probably like 40 or $50 and they're okay. <laughs> they're getting the job done, but these Billy ones look a little bit nicer and they have more storage and they have these options where you can like extend the bookshelves and you can buy like extra like shelves and extra extenders so I think that's pretty neat so you can pretty much just grow your bookshelf as you grow your book collection so I'm going to first head home I need to use the bathroom and then I'm going to head to Ikea and pick up this order so let's go I'm still in the car but what y'all don't know is I just got back in the car that's what y'all don't know okay Starbucks in hand, meat pie in hand. It smells like effing noodles in this store. It literally smells like noodles in this store and like not in a good way. But let's see. Where this bookshelf is and can i also mention this store always confuses me like i really do not like the layout i find it to be very convoluted and extra and confusing for really no reason like confusing just to be confusing so let's see if i can find what i need case hopefully this is not like super heavy because I will have to carry this into my house but here they are I can't do this <laughs> hope I didn't just break it <laughs> Ikea on a Saturday. This is probably a terrible idea. Right, gonna put this in the car. Wish me luck. I can't. I'm not strong enough. Ow, just hurting my knee. Wait. Ouch. you all i got it inside the car excuse my trunk i'm getting rid of all this stuff this is like my tire pump i'm returning this to walmart but just in there and we're gonna close her done what we have to do Alrighty, guys so i'm literally like perspiring i'm so hot from picking that up it's not even like it's hot outside it's literally fall okay hey guys i just got so lucky because i was taking my bookshelf out of my car thinking how am i gonna get this to my room and this guy is walking past my car sees me just struggling to take it out of the car and is like do you need help and i was like yes so he just brought it into my apartment i am so happy i didn't want him to bring it all the way to my room because like he was nice but obviously i don't know him but he brought it into my apartment so that is probably the hardest part that's been done but now i need to figure out where i'm gonna put it because this shelf the new billy bookcase is wider than this one so i think the billy bookcase is gonna have to go right here 
And then I'm going to like tilt this one so it's on this wall and I hope they can both fit. That way I just have like this little corner of bookshelves. But I am going to have to like take everything off this shelf first. And this shelf I really do not look forward to moving because I don't feel like it's the sturdiest. bookshelf I'm going to see if I can just drag it over here and I still have like my fairy lights on here because why would I move them let's see if I can just kind of pivot her oh my gosh she's scared oh my gosh she's about to oh my gosh I forgot that I I drilled this into the wall uh, okay y'all are gonna stay in the tripod because that's a little too much I forgot that I actually like drilled this into the wall so I'm literally about to rip this thing out of the wall so let me get my drill and undrill it from the wall so I've moved this shelf I don't know <sighs> y'all I hope this actually fits well because Maybe I should move this back, but just have it like touching my headboard. Because if I slide the other one in here, it's going to be like halfway covered by the books. So we're going to try that. So I pretty much just ended up sliding this over. I hope what I'm doing makes sense. And I really hope I can fit them both on this side. If not, I might have to move one of these bookshelves. Somewhere else. And once I unbox this bookshelf, this Billy bookcase, it's staying. Like, I'm not reboxing and putting it back in the car like now. No. So, wish me luck, y'all. So I've unboxed this. I am so hot. I'm about to turn my AC on because I have an oversized t-shirt and I feel like oversized t-shirts make me sweat extra. As y'all can see, it's definitely taller than my other bookcase so they won't be like even Steven. And then this is like the little back panels of the bookcase. So I can kind of get an idea of how it's going to fit. So it will definitely fit on this wall. It should fit like pretty perfectly and not get too like and not be too covered by the other bookshelf y'all i don't like doing things like this like it's not giving soft life this whole like i'm an independent black woman i don't need a man i do i need a man it's not giving soft life but you gotta do what you gotta do right i guess i'll show you all how my floor looks right now these are all the books i took off of my shelf and then these ones in the corner weren't even on my shelf and then I have some books that are on the way. So I'm actually really excited to get this accomplished. Okay, so next part of doing this bookshelf is I have to put the back on. This is literally the exact same setup as my, or the, it's the exact same like putting it togetherness as my Target bookshelf. And I think that's why I'm able to get this one done like a little bit faster than I got my Target one done. I got that done in four hours. That Target bookshelf, 
it took me four hours but it was also my first time putting together a bookshelf and this is pretty much the exact same only difference is that this bookshelf it has like maybe i'll zoom in and show y'all later it's too much going on to do right now but it's like two separate pieces versus this one just one big piece and that's why i kind of feel like this one is sturdier that was the main reason why i even drilled that one into the wall because i was like i don't know that seems like it's not safe but i am going to re-drill this into the wall and i'm going to drill this into the wall as well but all i have left is to just put the back on this but i have all this stuff on the floor so i'm probably gonna have to oh my knees just cracked i'm gonna probably have to move all this stuff like that way i can lay this down flat so i don't look forward to that but uh yeah Say, this is a better quality bookshelf than the one from Target. This back part, you actually like slide it in versus the Target one, you just, you, you don't slide it in <laughs> pretty much. But okay, here's why I'm confused. So I have to do this where I put like nails on the bottom, nails on the top, nails in the middle. And I'm assuming this middle is also gonna go into the shelf, right? How do I know it's going into the shelf? I mean, they're saying like measure the middle. I'm not putting on no rulers, I'm sorry, I'm not on top because the ruler just to make sure it's a straight line but how would i actually know what's the middle so i might just not do the middle or i might just try and see if it works and if it doesn't then oh mother effing well but So, let me give y'all a closer look. Sorry if it wobbles a little bit. I'm holding this really big tripod. But you can see they don't really line up perfectly. Like, there's this little, like, thing in the corner where they're not perfectly lined up. But there's nothing I can do about that. And as I was hammering, I was trying to get, like, the middle perfectly. So you can see I was missing it sometimes because I, like, messed up that part of the shelf. And I got these little holes there. But I, I think it looks pretty good, though. <laughs> I think it's still... It's still giving, so let's put those last few shelves on. And then, yeah, this has been a long process, but still faster than the first time I did it. Hey everyone, I'm back. I forgot to film an outro for this. Actually, my camera died, and then I just never filmed the outro. This, by the way, should go without saying, but if you ever see me wearing the same outfit, it's because I filmed multiple videos on the same day, and I washed my clothes, so it's fine. But I wanna show you all my shelves now that they're like built and stuff and I put my books on them they're not full by any means I have some books on the way I think the only shelf that's going to be full by the time this weekend is my black shelf which is like mostly my twilight shelf <laughs> but uh yeah I'll at least show you guys a really brief overview I'm not going to go into detail because it's, it's a little bit barren but yeah okay so here are the shelves sorry if it's a little bit shaky I'm holding my tripod but this is my Target shelf. So the way I have this one organized is I have like my Bible and faith related books up here. These are my paperbacks, which I kind of tried to separate by height slash color, but it was a little bit difficult to. And then down here is mostly just self-development books. Not really organized that well because there's not that many of them. And then I have jewelry. I have fairy lights on this shelf. I tried to get some from Walmart because that's where I got these ones from and they didn't have the ones that I needed so I'll probably get more later. I still have the same knickknacks on my bookshelf. I didn't get like any new knickknacks for the bookshelf yet, okay? So on this one, and I do not plan on keeping this shelf like this. Sorry, this is like really, really probably shaky, but I don't plan on keeping it like this because I don't like how much shorter the books on the end are, but these are just my hard covers not organized by any genre. Then also I have this, I don't know where it's gonna go, but it's a graphic novel of The Great Gatsby. And then here's my black shelf. So it's mostly like going to be focused on Twilight. I just got two Twilight graphic novels, which I think are gonna go right here. And I also got the host, which will probably go somewhere over here too. And I'm hoping that that will make this shelf 
full but it honestly probably will still have space for like another book or two so the shelf is mostly black books and then sorry this shelf is mostly white books i have the uglies books except for not the last one and i also have the boyfriend list except for not the last one right now it's all the boys i've ever loved series and paperback and then look at my piggy bank here i just have some library books as i mentioned earlier i was missing the drawer so i was really kind of effing up the bookshelf but it's fine and then down here nothing book related so i'll just end this video on the floor because i don't want to extend that tripod again sorry about the lighting and the glare so i don't film with my glasses normally but thank you all for watching me get my bookshelf and put it together i hope it was interesting and whenever i get these shelves filled up i will definitely post a bookshelf tour i don't think they'll be filled up anytime soon just because the way that i like to buy books i usually don't like to buy books until i've read them and i know i like them just to avoid wasting money but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.